All right, so we got our Nintendo. Here. I'm gonna show you how to replace the 72 pin connector and how to disable the lockout chip, which should help you um, like load the games. A lot of old systems, people think that you should blow in it, but actually what it is, it's basically dirt, maybe a little bit of corrosion gets into this part and also on the the pins of the games which are these things right here I'm gonna show you how to clean both of them um, basically the tools you need to open them are Phillips screwdriver and to disable the lockout chip you can use pliers I use this because I don't have pliers small enough um, also what you're gonna need is this stuff here uh, I like it better than uh, a Brasso, but you could use Brasso too. Um, they actually work pretty much the same. This I find a little bit better. And yeah, your Q-tip. So, all you're going to do is start opening this baby up. You usually use the standard uh, 1x4 fill up. You take out one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Make sure there's no game in the system when you do this. So, let's do this here. If you find that it's not coming out, um, there's a little trick. You definitely don't want to strip these things, and I just leave them in there like that. So, if you tighten it, like tighten and then unloosen it it seems to work almost every time so it's three and you see it doesn't take very long I'll just leave the screws in there because we're just gonna lift this whole bottom piece out um, if you want you can kinda clean inside which is actually really really good thing to do so uh, you could take those screws out in that case but for this I'm just gonna do a quick job okay so everything is done you should lift out oh you can always check under here sometimes people used to like to hide a joint or a small sack of weed some money stuff like that in there Oh, you know what? No, I'm stupid. This is the bottom. So just take out all the screws. Kind of keep them together right there. They're all the same size, so it doesn't really matter how you lay them out. So yeah, you would clean in here. Then this is metal shield. These have different size screws, so you kind of want to lay it out. And actually, the... Uh, the screws are a little bit smaller, so you might want to go with a size smaller Phillips screwdriver like the one I have here. So, this is how I lay them out. The trick I learned when I used to fix phones. You just lay everything out, especially if you don't know. So you take the screws out. The shield. See how I'm laying the screws out just like how I took them out of the system. That way I could not make any mistakes. If you do a lot of these, it'd probably be worth it to get one of those uh, electronic screwdrivers. I wouldn't use a uh, drill, just use a $14 electronic screwdriver. I used to use them to fix uh, PlayStation 3s and Xbox 360s. They go bad on you, but if you're doing a lot, this is definitely worth it. Just move that. So, this shield has a total of. I lost that thing in there. Seven. Let's get that 
thing. So, uh, go. And you just take this thing out and clean it if it's dusty. Throw it over there. Next thing we're going to do is um, start taking this thing out. So you have to take it out of this black thing right here where the games go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's one and two over here before you can lift the board up. I'm just gonna move those to the side. You're not gonna wanna mix them up like that, but I kinda know how it goes back together. Okay. I'm going to use a tweezer to get these out too. It might make it a little easier. Okay. Two more. And we're pretty much half done. Probably a little more than half. The hardest part of this job is unscrewing this stuff. As you can see, that's not at all hard. So you can just lift this out, and you gotta remove the the, uh, the plugins for the controller ports and for the power button, the reset button. So you wanna be careful because you don't wanna rip them, but they're pretty sturdy. On this blue guy. There's little tabs you can get, pull them out. Then there's a shield on the bottom, just lifts right out. And as you can see, this thing already slide off. When you put this back on, you want to make sure you do it right, or your games are going to be hard to put in. So there we go. Always clean out your shell. Uh, you can do retro bright if it's yellow. I'll just look that up on Google. Um, but yeah, here's what you got. What you got. Here's the pins right here. See this? Just grab this, pull it right off, just like that. Now the new one goes on, but first you want to clean these contacts, just like you would with a game. So let me zoom in here so you can see this better. See these contacts here. Um, we're going to clean this with the Q-tip and the metal polish. So always shake your metal polish up, grab your Q-tips, and we're, we're just going to put like a dab of this stuff on here. Well, some already fell. Basically, just a little dab like that, and we're going to start it. Gently, you don't have to do that hard at all. Just gently rub it on here. We're gonna do both sides like this, and just rub each individual uh, gold-plated contact, or I guess it's silver. This thing, it seems like no matter how much you do this, it's always gonna be a little bit black. But I mean, that's okay. You just do. A fairly good clean depending on how bad it is. Some people use um, uh, ink eraser, like an eraser for a pen. 
they say that it's good at removing corrosion. I personally just use metal polish. That should be good. So what we're what we're doing now, combined with the uh, disabling the lockout chip, it should get rid of the flashing power on and off. And it should make your games work pretty much right away. Always, once you do this, be sure to to be even before you put any game in. You buy a game from anyone, clean the contacts just like we're doing on the game. Because if you put too many dirty contact or uh, dirty games in, you're going to have to do this all over. Some people like to boil the pins, but I mean, that kind of sounds stupid to me. Um, I don't like mixing water with uh, electronics. It's just going to end up causing corrosion. Might work for a while, but it's most likely going to corrode there's also a thin layer of like this stuff that helps resist corrosion you can't see it but it's like a thin layer of stuff on here another thing you could do when you're in here is uh, swap out your light the LED light which is located on this thing and especially if you're customizing you basically just solder another LED right here uh, it's pretty cool people like it I like to just stick with the way it was because a big part of retro gaming for me is nostalgia Okay, so let's just clean this shit off. These are kind of ugly looking, but I mean, it should work fine. That's pretty bad right there, actually. I'm just gonna. I can see how black this thing got if I can find the camera see that very black okay now to fix this all you gotta do this fit it in putting it in the wrong spot okay right there just slides right on there you go okay so while we're here I'm gonna show you this chip right here this has the this has the lockout chip and you want to go one, two, three, four. The fourth pin. Zoom in. Okay. One. One, two, three, four. Right by this plus. And what I do, just pull it out. Like I said, you could use pliers, you can basically use anything. Then I just try to, as carefully as possible, bend it back and forth until it falls all the way off. Some people are going to say you should uh, ground it, like put a wire from here to, the, to some ground connection. But honestly, you really don't need to do that. It's just an extra step. I guess they figure it might make it so you don't have any uh, distortion or feedback so there you go the fourth pin is removed 
Lockout is disabled, which will stop the blinking red light. And this bud, this thing right here, that's gonna make your games play every time. So let's adjust this. Most people don't show you how to put this thing back together. I'll go ahead and show you real quick how to put this part back together. Um, I guess you can do this part first. Take this thing. Make sure your things are lined up back here. Slide this on. Sometimes it's a little tough. You want to make sure everything lines up good. See the holes right here lined up, and at the back, they're all lined up. Then you take your bottom shield. The easy way to do it, make sure it's lined up with that metal expansion thing. Slides on like that. Next step. Put your blue one first, since it has the longest. Put your uh, player two back in. You shouldn't be able to mess this up. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory where the wires go. You wanna make sure these wires aren't in the way when you put it back in, so. And make sure everything lines up and it's down. Very important to line that up. Then all you do, put your screws back in, put put this thing back on, put your top back on, clean your games, stick a game in, go ahead and play this shit. Thank you. If you want to donate to me, don't bother. Just subscribe, like my videos, like my posts on Facebook that kind of thing that's really what's gonna help me I don't need your money I need your support uh, thank you guys